Greetings Rated R Cars family. I'm reporting to you live from Chicago today, of all places, and I want to talk to you guys about something serious. I want to talk about a big problem that's been plaguing the world for a long time, and that problem is toxic masculinity. Now I know you guys are used to comedy on this channel, but toxic masculinity is a real problem and it needs to be addressed. So if you'll excuse the serious topic, let's get started. Yes, even for those of us who drive Mustang GTs, GT350s, and motorcycles, toxic masculinity is a problem that needs to be stopped. <laughs> Earl, what are you doing in the closet of the hotel room? <laughs> Excuse me, that was very toxically masculine and I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sincerely sorry for having offended you. Well, that was certainly toxic. <laughs> Woo! Whoever smelt it, dealt it. Hey! Earl, let's be serious, okay? We need to address this real problem in America and in fact the world. Toxic masculinity is a problem for many people, such as snowflakes, no! pansies, no! fruitcakes, no! and assorted Democrats. In other words, it's a problem for candy-ass, skinny, purple-haired Antifa cupcakes. <laughs> Tell them how you really feel, boy. <laughs> I mean, if this offends you, Earl, roll the tape. Snowflake, snowflake, little snowflake. I'm sorry about that. Earl hates snowflakes, and I can't say I blame him either. You see, snowflakes are a bunch of pussies. I mean, come on, Radar Cars family. What's going on with the emasculation of America? Why are people trying to make men into women and women into men? Why are some people trying to erase gender altogether? Where have all the cowboys gone? I'll tell you where they've gone. They're being vilified as toxically masculine, but not on my watch. Well, let me ask you this. Who the hell else is gonna wrangle up all those cows and pigs for our triple bacon double cheeseburgers? Or maybe you'd rather eat veggie burgers. Not on my watch. No, didn't think so, cupcake with your little pink frosting and sprinkles on top. Y'all already know. Here at Rated R Cars, if you're being a wuss, we're gonna tell you to man up. No, not cisgender up, because what the hell is cisgender? I certainly hope that none of you know the answer to that question. Snowflakes. You know it, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I said bro and not it, because even though Earl and I don't see eye to eye sometimes, Not as epic. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> hey, let me out of here. I'm family. I don't deserve this treatment. What? <coughs> I smell fumes. I, I smell fumes. I don't think I can make it. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> hey, is that a spider? There's a spider in here! Ryan! Earl and I, we're unapologetically men. And if that bothers your sensitivity, your little teeny weeny feelings, they're just so tiny. They're so tiny and soft. Your feelings are so soft. Man up. That's right. Like it or not, that's how real men talk. You don't like it? Why don't you go drink your estrogen shape and drive your rainbow-colored Prius to go watch a sunset and weep into your biodegradable pillow? It's so beautiful. <laughs> Climate change. <laughs> you see, for thousands of years, we men have called each other pussies anytime we do something questionable. And we shouldn't have it any other way. How's this for climate change? But recently, and no, not just because I'm in Chicago, more snowflakes have been hitting the streets than a blizzard on Santa's ass. What? You didn't know that's how guys talk? What did you think guys talk about when we're alone together? How to tie a perfect bow? The vicissitudes of life? I don't even know what a vicissitude is. Earl, get the dictionary. <laughs> dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a little montage for all of you jumbo sized pamper wearers so you can learn to shut up, man up, and grab life by the balls and make America manly again. America manly again. Mama? <laughs> you pussy. <laughs> <laughs> See, he agrees. Tell us how you really feel. Thumbs up if you agree, men. And women who like real men. Thumbs up. <laughs> and now that we're done talking about this serious issue, back to our regularly scheduled program. Back to you, Brian. Thanks, Brian. And now let's talk about something that is toxically masculine, if you drink it. Say hello to my little friend. This is Boostane. It is an octane booster. It makes your car go faster. It makes you have more torque. It makes your car more responsive. And therefore, I like it. You can say all you want about Connecticut, New York, that's basically the tri-state area, but we do have 93 octane gas here. But guess what? It's not enough. It's never enough. Enter Boost Aid, the rectifier. That corrects that lack of octane. Especially for you guys that have like 89, 90 octane. And for those of us who have 93 octane and want to have more power. It's like a, it's like a can of manhood. I am using this Boost Aid to improve the power, the torque, and the responsiveness of the GT350, which could use a little kick in the pants. To put some fire in its britches, as it were. To spank the GT350's rousy little bottom. Make its bottom rousy with a proper spanking. You heard me correct, Rated Our Cars family. More power, more torque, more responsiveness. And it's also good for your engine, yada yada yada. Did I mention more power? And you get all of this with no mods, no tune, nothing but this little can. You see, Boostane is a veritable can of whoop-ass. And no, I don't know what veritable means, and you better not either. And boys, you know this is going in our motorcycle. You know, you know what we do? It's time for some scientific analysis. It's time for butt dino science. I'm gonna hand this over to my resident butt scientist. Uh, back to you, Brian. Thanks, Brian. And welcome to day two of Boostane testing. We're going to be testing various launches under various conditions, as well as highway speed roll testing. Let's get to it. For this particular set of tests, we are approximately 102 octane, and I figured that out by looking at their chart, which tells you how much to put in based on how much power you want to have. It's very convenient. They also have an app, which I will show you. all day long and I'm sure it's gonna feel awesome but with that sound and violence and, and aggression you can't replace this you can't replace an American or, or any V8 or, or, or you know high displacement car you just can't that sound is just it's essential listen like to relax in the serenity in the middle of a forest. I like to have ear pumping 5.2 liter voodoo engine singing to my ears all day long. Am I normal? I think I'm normal. Thumbs up if you guys are normal too. Blasted off so far I don't even know where the boost tank went. Boost tank. Boost tank. I guess this is a boost tank. After you put in boost tank into your Mustang it becomes a boost tank. <laughs> How do you achieve that power? Well, it's a very complicated process, and that's why I'm gonna walk you through it. Here we go.
first launch. Oh. <laughs> oh man, we laid some tracks. very impressed with this boost stain. I'm gonna do one more just for fun and that's gonna complete our first and second gear testing. You know how we do guys, always bringing scientific analysis for the radar cars community. I'm, a, I'm basically a scientist. I'm a scientist of horsepower. VTEC. Man, this is fun, this is fun. Boostane is so far kicking up the fun factor by a couple of notches. Let's do some three, four, and five gear testing, shall we? Oh yeah, yeah, third gear, more power. First gear, definitely more power. Definitely on the timing sooner. You're, you're, you're more responsive sooner. You touch the pedal, the car starts moving. So it's, it's definitely faster. Second gear, same thing. You touch the pedal, the car starts moving much faster. Third gear, more oomph. There's definitely more oomph, more meat behind, more meat behind the throttle. Fifth gear, 3,500 RPM. Son of a <laughs> Sorry for the cussing. It was totally uncalled for. This stuff makes my car faster. <laughs> it makes my car faster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes it faster. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> you don't have boosted. You don't have boosted, you stupid. You guys are so immature, seriously. Son of a biscuit! Pass some cool cook! If you're new to the channel, the sense of humor grows on you. Stick with me. And by the way, just to make sure that I've done a thorough analysis for the Radar Cars family as usual, this is my third can of Boostane. <laughs> guys, don't judge me. It's not like I'm addicted to this stuff. <laughs> oh, it feels so nice. Ah, oh, it feels good. Oh, it feels so good! 71 miles per hour, fourth gear drop. Awesome. Boostane is conducive to breaking the law. Rolling second from 4,000 RPM. Okay guys, so while I am gonna do a lot more testing on this, including putting it in my motorcycle, comparing it to E85, etc., I am gonna go ahead and give this a full five-star rated R cars review. It's horsepower in a can, it's torque in a can, it's whoopassery in a can. You can't go wrong with it. It does add a noticeable power difference. When you put your foot down on the pedal, you are on that gas sooner. You are, you are on the power sooner. You have more torque all throughout the power band. According to Boostane, it's good for your car. Guys, can't go wrong. And you know I only recommend good products on radar cars. So of course I'm going to be putting a link in the description below. Love this stuff. Probably too much, probably more than I should. Uh, always remember the motto, always be kinder than necessary. See you in the next one. <laughs> that was certainly toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them how you really feel, boy. <laughs> oh my god, my throat's killing me, guys. This is what I do for you guys. I do this. <clears throat> Here we go. All for the Radar Cars family. Mm. Straight face. Mm. <laughs> Tell them.
don't know how you're real. <laughs> Take two. <clears throat> 200, boy. Like. <laughs> Tell him how you really feel, boy. Woo! Okay, how do women keep this thing on your head? How do they do it? <clears throat> Snowflakes. Can't live with them, can't hog tie them. Or maybe you can. Tell us how you really feel. Chicago. What can I say? Same as New York? Yeah, whatever. What's this? What's this? <laughs> I was just kidding. I don't tie no tile around my head. And you better not either, son. kicked in, yo. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's a Prius here. Stopped in the middle of the road, right in the middle of my launch grounds. Prius? Is it bad enough that you exist in the first place? Must you interrupt my launches? Come on, man. What are you doing? Maybe he's doing launches. Maybe he's doing pr little Prius launches. Prius launches. You better be doing them. Wasting my time. Now he's following me. Maybe he wants to learn how to do launches. Alright, I'm gonna have to wait till this guy gets out of my sight. <laughs>